So we're at the next stage of uh, wing construction. We've got to put the forward skin on. Um, so the uh, aft skin is all copper clecoed up and um, everything's done on the aft side of the main spar. So now we've got to attach the forward skin and uh, so to do that it's already pre-drilled with a load of holes so we clico it all the way along the main spar so that we've got the forward skin on top the aft skin sandwiched beneath and then the main spar and uh, it's not as flat as I was hoping. It's sort of um, got a few ripples uh, in it where the clecos are, are pulling it into line. But um, we'll see how it goes. Um, there's only half the holes actually got something in. But um, So now, basically, I've just made a start um, on drilling each of the ribs the forward ribs um, starting at the aft end and working towards the front of the wing okay so we've jumped forwards about four hours in uh, construction time the um, forward skin is uh, silver clee code on on the bottom side and we've flipped the wing over so we're now looking at the top surface of it from the aft end or side and we've got some straps attached right the way around the wing a large piece of wood across the top A couple of hardboard um, protectors, for want of a better um, description, they're spreading the load a little bit of the straps around the uh, leading edge, stop it from getting creased. And uh, the block of wood is keeping everything straight and spreading the uh, tension across the entire length of the forward skin. As you can see, the underside is fully clecoed, so it can't move. We've checked the wing for level again, and it and it is level. And we've ratcheted up a bit. I've just taken all the silver clecos out of the top of the spar and uh, about to uh, ratchet strap it up a little bit more and see whether we can get some clecos in and the instructions uh, tell you to cleco from the center towards both ends when putting the clecos back in on the uh, the top of the spar so i'm going to busy away and do that and once that's done um depending on whether i've messed it up um you'll either see a very happy me or a very depressed me see you shortly okay then so far so good we're looking half decent The holes are almost lining up. We've got the first few in the centre. And it's all looking good. I just hope that the amount of pressure, which is considerable, that I've had to put on the straps hasn't dented the leading edge. But we'll only find that out when we take the straps off. So, um, 
I'll busy away and stick the rest of the Clecos in along the top edge and then we'll see what happens from there. So with a little assistance from Katie um, just to put in the, uh, the Clecos um, she worked from the middle towards this end and I worked from the middle towards that end we've got them all in the ones at the tip end were a lot easier than the ones at the root end. I don't know whether that's because the uh, couldn't quite get the ratchet straps at the same uh, tension. Looking down the front leading edge of the wing, we've got no deformities from the straps, which is good. So I'm happy with that. So the next job is to start drilling the ribs and they'll be starting from the top edge working towards the leading edge and there's quite a lot of spare gap there so uh, that's going to push some metal forwards so we'll have to see how that looks when we get the uh, the front ones in okay more later well I've managed to use all my silver Clecos and all my copper Clecos. The two containers are completely empty, so there are 200 silver and 200 copper in this wing now. And uh, we're pretty much there, um, ready to strip it down, deburr it, which may take several days. And, uh, and then start to rivet it together. Um, it's been interesting trying to bend the, uh, the forward skin around the front of the wing. Um, I'm not particularly happy with it. Um, and I think when I go to drill it out to uh, copper Clico size for rivet size, I will do it the other way round because um, it's basically okay at one end and not at the other um, and it's worse actually in the middle I don't know whether you can see it but particularly the two rows of uh, well the second and third row back from the reading edge of both got big dimples where the Clico is trying to hold the aluminium down onto the uh, rib but it's bowing up in between the rivets um, and it's basically because the the bend that's pre put into the uh, the sheet is not really quite tight enough um, and without a machine I mean it was bent in a machine and without the machine to bend it um, it's impossible to put it you know a bit more of a bend in it but to be quite honest it had about a 90 degree bend in it um, when it's opened out from the box and I think it probably needs to be a little bit more than that to uh, to stop it from trying to peel itself off the uh, the ribs um, but basically I started at the bottom and then pulled it round onto the top um, I think actually I would like to have a go doing it the other way and uh, when I put to put it back on next time I'm going to put it on the top turn it up so you know obviously have it upside down and then um, pull it on to the bottom and see whether that's a more successful way of getting the uh, the metal into shape but um, there we go that's what I've been up to. So 400 Clecos now holding the entire wing structure together. Um, I've got a few to drill out over at the on the uh, back edge there. 
And then uh, I'm going to strip the entire thing down and actually start to deburr it, which is going to take a long time because I've got 400 Clecos in, which uh, and they're only in one every other one every five holes here and there. So God knows how many uh, actual holes there are to deburr, and of course uh, some of them are through three pieces of uh, metal. So that's um, six deburr operations just for one hole. Um, so yeah, could take a while. Um, I might uh, stick the deburr tool in the little battery drill because um, I don't know whether my arm's actually going to be able to do that many. We'll see. Anyway, back soon.